What comfort zone? Come on, talk to me. What's his name? Comfort zone. Listen, your breakthrough is on the other side of your comfort zone. That's right. See, I used to have a comfort zone where I knew I could not fail. The same four walls and busy work were really more like jail. I long so much to do the things I've never done before, but stayed inside my comfort zone and paced the same old floor. Yeah. I said it didn't matter that I wasn't doing much. I said I didn't care for things like diamonds, cars, or such. I claim to be so busy with the things inside my zone, but deep inside I long for some sweet victory of my own. I couldn't let my life go by just watching others win. I held my breath and took a step to let the change begin. I took a step and with new strength I never felt before, I kissed my comfort zone goodbye and closed and locked the door. If you're in a comfort zone and afraid to venture out, remember that all winners were at one time filled with doubt. A step or two and words of praise can make your dreams come true. So greet your future with a smile. Success is there for you. And your breakthrough is on the other side of your other's negative opinion. Let's try when I was speaking in the UK. Usually he speaks first and then I speak, but this time they had me speak after. And let's talk about other people's negative opinion. And when he was done, I said, that's, that's powerful, but I got something a little better. He said, what do you mean? He said, I said, don't allow other people's negative opinion to become your reality. I said, that's great, but I got something a little better. He said, okay, Doc, what you got? I said, you ready? He said, yes. I said, only allow God's opinion to become your reality. He said, oh, you got me on that one. Come to my See, I don't care what you think about me. I'm so focused on what he thinks about me. Come on, somebody. And he thinks I'm a masterpiece because you're a masterpiece because you're a piece of the master. You're a product of the master. You're the priority of the master. So what do I care about the haters? Haters don't hate. Haters, H-A-T-E-R-S, having animosity toward everyone reaching success. Low, 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 just get the book, it's in the book. Low esteem. See, I didn't say self-esteem, because self-esteem is based on you do good, you're up. Low esteem, no, no. God esteem is what you really need. When you realize what you are in the eyes of God, my friend, you'll never walk down with your head down. Did you hear the guy say he was reminded he's a child of the king? Yeah. He's a child of God. Yeah. Listen, doubt. doubt. All successful people get this. We're going. Unsuccessful people believe their doubts, then doubt their doubts. Unsuccessful people doubt their beliefs and then believe their doubts. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all get it. Unsuccessful people believe their doubts and then they start to uh, uh, doubt their beliefs and then they believe their doubts. Mm -hmm. Successful people, here's what we do we doubt our doubts yeah. and believe our beliefs. Before I spoke, some said, man, hey, they ain't gonna buy you, bro. They ain't. Them words ain't gonna break. I'm like, man, I doubt that one. Them things gonna look like a piece of toothpick when I go through that anymore. You got to learn to doubt your doubts and talk out loud because faith yeah. comes by hearing and hearing by the word. Yeah. Impossible. Put his faith into the end of the key and now says, what? I'm impossible. Come on, somebody. No mentor. Hello. You got to break through that. You got to have not just a mentor, many mentors in your life. And that's the beauty of this. This, and my friend, I want to be your breakthrough mentor in the martial arts Japanese style sensei. I, I want to be your, your mental sensei. Hello. Because I'm going to teach you what's called mental self defense, learning how to defend yourself against your greatest opponent, which is your undisciplined or subconscious mind. Fear. What about fear? False fear. expectation of being real. Fear, forgetting everything's all right. Stuff. He didn't think I knew a little something, something, something. See, watch this now. Watch this, watch this, watch this. What you're afraid of, you will be, excuse me, what you're afraid of, it will be attracted to you. What you have faith in, you will be attracted to it. You have faith, you're going to have a breakthrough, you're attracted to a power. Hello, come on, somebody. Being poor, P O R, passing over opportunities for people. Poor, put it up. Here's Dr. Brady. Put it. My acronym that is putting obstacles over riches. Oh, oh, a poor man, rich man, poor woman, rich woman. One kingdom obstacle says it's too big, it's too hard. I, I need to do it. The other one says, I'm going over it, I'm going around it, I'm going through it, I'm going to break through it. No, get there. Yeah. And then bad help. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Great book ever written says, Beloved, I wish above all things. Sounds like a priority. I wish above all things that God may prosper and be in hell. You don't have to choose between the two, you can have both. Matter of fact, I wish I had time. Bring me back another time and let me talk a little bit more. But get this, health without wealth is frustrating. Yeah. To have your health bill come due, car damage, it's frustrating. 
But wealth without health is futile. Be like the Queen of England, I give up every dime to get my money back. Steve Jobs, multi billionaire, give up every dime to get my money back. So Dr. Brady says, but health with wealth is fantastic. And that's what a kind is all about. Come on, give me some energy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then, I'm serious though, but anyway, so you're going to use the palm of your hands, okay? Number one. Number two, you're going to lock your arms out. This is not locked. This is locked. Yes. Okay? Now, and then number three, I'm going to have to put one to the back. So three things. Help me out, audience. Number one, no what? No. no. Everybody know what? No. So you're going to use the palm of your hands. Number two, we're going to lock. We're going to do what? Lock. And then number three, we're going to put one foot. Yeah. Okay, good. So that's all you got to do. Now, I'm going to put you in different ways and show you what we're going to do. We're going to close out this. Now, you okay, you're not afraid of anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Take your glasses. Yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah, you see the thing. Take your glasses off. Ha, ha, ha. 